realize my coworker's upstairs closing by himself. So um, since I was new to the business, I decided I wanted to go upstairs and help him clean up, learn the room, etc., etc. So I go upstairs and I'm helping him reset the room. And like I said earlier, the room is blocked off. Each room, there are four rooms, each one is closed by a locked door. So um, at the end of the night, we had to close all the doors, lock them, you know, shut it all down, reset the room. So it's the end of the night, probably 9.30 at night, when um, he's taking apart the uh, camera system in another room, and I close and lock a certain door. This door is right when you enter the escape room. It is wood and glass, and mo it's primarily glass. So if you're, looking, if you're looking at the door, you can see someone behind it. And I step outside of the room, and I had closed and locked this door. I cannot emphasize enough that I had closed and locked this door. And I step outside and I'm talking to my coworker and he's telling me a ghost story from when he went to Frostburg High, or, uh, University. And um, we both heard a click and a loud creak. The door that I had just closed and locked had unlocked itself and swung open. And my immediate reaction was to run. I, I was down the stairs in probably like 30 seconds. Uh, and then I turned around and realized my coworker wasn't with me, so I went back upstairs and he was like, I still have to close. So um, we finished closing up and we ran out, but that was the first instance I had ever had at this building with a ghost story. Um, I have many more, and if you would like to hear them, come join us for a tour. Our tours run Thursday through Sunday evening, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Bookings are live on our website, spooksunderthespires.com. Um, our tours run to, I believe, six different locations. Um, Sherlockton Escape Games is where you begin.